Hi everyone, this is Oma. I'm glad to have you all on this channel today. If this is your first time here, hello. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. So today's topic, I want us to discuss about your first son. If you're a mother here, I need you to pay attention to this video. If you're a father, I also need you to pay attention to this video. Okay? You need to understand that that's your son. You are tagging a failure. That's your first son that you're telling the whole world is a failure. Is stubborn. Is not behaving well. Is not successful. Is not making you proud. So you put him in school. He drops out of school. He does the bad things that he's not supposed to do. I want you to listen to this message. I want you to know that that your first son is not acting with his clear mind. Did you hear that? First, being a first son in a family has a lot of spiritual challenges. It comes with a lot of tasks. Have you asked yourself why second sons are usually more successful than the first sons? It is not because your first son is lazy. It is not because... Did, did, you, did you hear me? It is not because your first son is lazy. It is because of Omerere Machiepwege. It is because of the spiritual attachments, the spiritual punishments that has been melted on that innocent son of yours. When you come in good number of families, you will notice that the first sons are always, it looks like they are not as successful as their second, as the second son. But you come to a family and see the only son, if someone is an only son, the person will become more successful. If only sons succeed more than the first son. Your first son is going through a lot. After watching this video today, I want you to go and give that son of yours a hug. I want you to go and give that son of yours a hug. Whatever arrow that is being thrown from the spiritual realm gets to your son first. Your first son is the one that will accept to either send it back to the sender or receive it. And suffer the consequences your first son if you notice most first sons if there is any sickness that a father has suffered if, if a father has suffered any kind of chronic illness it hits the son the first son so hard more than every other ones I have seen first sons that have had working more than the others but his younger ones especially the second son is quite more successful and then you see this first son being at the mercy of his younger ones it's pathetic if the parents will stand up for their first sons a lot of things will change your first son is a pace setter your first son sets the pace your first son is the career of your glory the first son is not meant to be in that situation but because you are ignorant you let him suffer for what he knows nothing about if you as a parent have committed in your have committed a lot of atrocities spiritual atrocities physical atro atrocities do you know what happens if it doesn't come back to you immediately it waits for your children and the first person that receives this ugly son of the family if there is anything evil that is being committed in the family it waits for the first son. 
First sons suffer a lot of spiritual battles. They go through a lot of spiritual warfares. You as a parent, it's your duty to stand up for your son. It is your duty to protect this your son. It is your duty to ensure that they did not put off, they did not dim his light. Most first sons come to this world with great stars. This is why when those enemies see that they have great stars, they start to strike. They decide to strike. It is very important that you as a mother fasten up your seat belt. Do a constant spiritual consultation on your son, on your first son. That young man, even if he is old enough and he has his own family now, he needs you. He needs you. Now, I want to tell you what to do. If your son, your first son is still young and is with you, I want you to do something. In the morning, in the morning when you wake up go to the washroom and produce your early morning urine use it to wash your son's face while you pray to the universe for the blessings and the light that this child has come to this world with will never go dim will never be deemed by the enemies as a woman and as a mother when you are on your monthly period place your hand on what makes you a woman and state that whatever you have done or your husband has committed will never affect your first son that is it you must now this is not something you just do today and say oh i've done it i did it yesterday this is a constant ritual you have to be doing this for your son you have to be doing this for your son now i'm not saying you should neglect his siblings no you still have to do for his siblings but where the problem is too much where the person that is being attacked the most is the person that I'm talking about you see that your son that always goes out to you know he's always drinking so much carrying women here and there it seems as though you you are really you know you don't understand it seems as though you, you don't understand what is going on you don't know what you are praying oh i don't know what the enemies has done to my son it is time for you to get up always do consultation on the head of your son to know if there is something that you have to do for that young man this one that i just gave you this recipe i gave you is a general something that you can do for your son always wash the head of your son with coconut water even if the child is still small, wash his head with coconut water. Say that that your child, that your son, will continue to flourish, will continue to succeed in everything he is doing. You understand? State that. Don't, uh, don't overlook such thing. When you wash his head and his face, allow the coconut water to dry on his head and his face. Allow it to dry like that. Don't wash it off. These are the small, small things you can do for your first son. When you are doing these things, you are clearing off. As long as you are a mother, saying it by yourself, you are washing it away. All those things, all those bad energies, you are removing it from that innocent son of yours. Okay? I will leave it here, but I will still talk extensively on this topic all right thank you very much guys for watching
God bless you all and see you guys in my next one.